What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. So in today's video, I'm going to be building a mini bike. This is going to be a full in-depth tutorial how to build a mini bike from nothing to basically the whole complete project. So let's get straight into it. So I laid out a quick outline on a tape. We have a 3D model on our computers, but this is how we're going to be making it. I'm not going to be like one of those YouTubers who just make it and never tell you guys the dimensions. I'm going to tell you basically everything from what angles to what material to literally everything so you guys can make it. We're going to be using this one by one square tubing. Wall thickness is one eighth inch and there's 16 feet to make the frame. Let's get straight into cutting and building this mini bike. Now it's time to start cutting. Okay guys, so we just cut out these four pieces, they're all 28 inches in length. Now, I mean the distance from this edge to inside, the inside distance of these two pieces is 10 inches. So everywhere is going to be 10 inches throughout the entire bike. The distance between the inner two edges is going to be 10 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out this piece that's going to be for the front, and then there's a piece for the back. So basically we need to cut two more pieces of 10 inches each. Okay guys, so I just made those 10 inch pieces, one for the front and one for the back. So that's all we're going to do today. So this is the bottom of the bike, this is going to be the top. This piece to here is 10 inches, 10 inches. The length from here to here is 20 inches, same thing with that, 20 inches. And these angled parts are 9 inches each. I haven't, I haven't cut the angles out yet, but those are 9 inches long. Piece from this edge to that edge is a 28, and that's also 28 up there. And this sheet I cut out, it's 11 by 8 inches. Okay guys, so it's another day and thankfully it's not 30 degrees outside. Yesterday I went ahead and finished welding basically everything. What we're going to be doing today is cutting out the angles with these two pieces so they can fit here. Like that. The way we're going to be doing this is just use guess and check. I might like draw a slight angle, cut it off and the same thing on this one and then we'll just try to fit it and when it fits we we'll weld it on. So that's the plan for right now. Alright guys, so I just got this triangular section mounted up. It took me literally an hour and a half. It was quite frustrating. That's why I didn't film any of it. Because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just kept guessing and going with it. But it's accurate. It's all welded on. Still need to clean the welds. But yeah, here we go. This is basically the way I'm going to lay down the bike. And then we're going to cut, cut like sides for it, so then it can actually stand. Okay guys, so for the uprights, I'm going to be using this bar. Each upright is going to be 18 inches, so you're going to need two uprights, okay? So I marked 18 over here, and then this is the second 18. Alongside that, the angle which this bar is going to be cut at, it's going to be 70 degrees. And the way we're going to cut it exactly at 70 degrees is with this triangle. I used a protractor and drew a triangle with a degree of 70. So we're going to use this piece to help us transform the marks onto this bar to get a perfect 70 degree angle. So we're going to just line up with the edge and cut that bit out. So that's going to be 70 degrees. So before continuing the welding and cutting more material, I think I should grind down all the welds and make this frame look nice. So 
So guys, this is what I kind of mean. I cut this angular piece up. So there's a slight angle. That's the top. This is the bottom. The height from the inside of this bar to the that side is 17 inches. So it's going to be 17 inches. The engine is about 13 inches. So we have 4 inches for space where you can fill it up. Um, I still need to cut the angle on this piece. As you can see, there's a gap there. So you cut that on an angle. Sorry guys, I haven't been filming so much lately, but we're almost done this side of the frame. There's just a few welds I need to make at the bottom, which I'll make on camera so you guys can also see. For the fork, I'm going to use this tube right here. It's off of a bicycle seat but uh, not, not on this bike. This is from an old bike and it's been sitting in the basement. So I have to go and remove all this rust and all this paint. And yeah, then we can weld this. So just like that, got all the rust off of this piece. It looks good as new. It actually looks really good in fact. Yeah, look at that. No more rust. So I'm just gonna cut this to size. I think five inches will be appropriate. Okay guys, so right now I have this mini bike on 6 inches of bricks. The reason I'm doing this because the wheels that I'm going to put in the front are going to be about 12 inches. So half of the wheel would be 6 inches. Now I have this other wheel from my go-kart and I'm using it to figure out what angle should I make the forks so it would fit. This is obviously too much but I'm going to figure it out right now. So I just very gently tack this up. I think this angle is pretty appropriate. This way, the wheelbase of the bike will be 38 inches. Okay guys, so I just fully welded this tube in. There are no gaps. Still need to clean these welds. They're quite terrible. But so far, so good. To make that third tube that's going to connect the bottom of the frame to the forks, I'm going to be using this metal over here. This rod and that rod. I'm just going to cut these plastic caps off and t remove some of the paint where we're going to be welding. So I just cut this tube up and the thing I'm going to do right now is weld it up. I'm going to weld it this way. So if there's anything I need to remove to make it shorter, I'm just going to get get rid of on this side because this side is quite dirty. So that's the plan. So I just got this tube welded. It actually, sorry I didn't get any footage because while I was there, I don't know, it wasn't working. It was never grounded properly. So I came here, cleaned it up, and then brought the welder and did it here. So then it worked. But like, welded this up. Now I'm just going to measure how much tube I need, then I'll cut it according to that. So I cut this tube out, put the angle on it. I'll measure the tube and tell you the length right now. And it's going to fit like this. Just like that. So guys, just to let you know, finished up 100% welding up this tube. The frame is... 100% done being welded. The length of this tube is 17 and a half inches. I'm just gonna go up and clean literally everything one more time. Get this bike to a good state. All right guys, just cleaned up everything. I think I'm done with this base frame for now. Next week we're gonna make the forks. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. By the way guys, if you're wondering how I came up with this design, if you guys are in America and you know the company Go Power Sports, they have a mini bike. It's over it's quite overpriced in my opinion, but it looks like this. So I decided to make mine look like theirs cuz I really like how theirs looks and I'll see you guys next week. If you have any questions, put them in the description and I'll answer all of them. Peace.